Today we are going to multiply two-digit multiples of 10 by two-digit numbers using the area model. Before we solve any problem, we want to make sure we read the directions so we know what the problem is asking us to do. This says, use an area model to represent the following expressions. Then record the partial products and solve. So the two things we need to do is to use an area model, which is drawn for us, and then record the partial products, which is also partially done for us. We just have to add in those partial products. So the number we're working with is 30 times 17. And what we're going to do is break apart the values in these numbers and um, label the box. So on the side of the box, we see it's not split, it's just all one. So we're looking for a number that only has one value. In this problem, that's 30. There is no value in the ones, but there is a value in the tens of three. So I can put 30 over here. 17, however, does have two different values. And if you look at the top, we see one section and then a second section for the ones and the tens. So the value of the ones in 17 is seven and the value of the tens in 17 is 10. Now I'm going to multiply and put the answers in the center of the box. So 30 times 10 is 300. And 30 times 7, I can use my trick to cover up the zeros. And so I'm going to cover up the zero um, and just do 3 times 7 is 21. And then tag that zero back on. We could use the same trick for 30 times 10 cover up the zeros and do three times one is three, and then add on the two zeros after. So 300 and 210 are my partial products. Product is the answer to multiplication, and so I have two answers to multiplication, a multiplication, and they're the parts that I will put together to get my final product, my final answer. So I'm gonna put my parts on the line, 300, and 210. And now I have to do is add together my parts to get my final product. So my final answer is 310. This strategy is nice because students don't have to worry about placeholders or carrying or borrowing. Um, they don't have to worry about writing a number above and forgetting it's there. All of the numbers that they need are inside the box and then they just add them together. Let's look at another problem. The directions say, draw an area model to represent the following expressions. Then record the partial products vertically and solve. So I know I want an area model. And partial products. But this time they didn't draw anything for me, so I need to draw it myself. So let's just do 60 times 19. So I'm going to draw my rectangle and split it into two. 60 only has one value, so that's going to go on the side where I didn't split it into two. But 19 does have two values, so I'll put the ones in the first box, on top of the first box and the tens on top of the second box. 10 plus nine equals 19. And then I do my multiplication. 60 times 10 goes first. So I can cover up the zeros and just do six times one is six, and then tag those two zeros back on my answer. I can do the same trick for 60 times nine. Cover up the zero and 60. Six times nine is 54. Tag the zero back on to my answer. Now they want me to do partial products. So I'm going to set my problem up vertically, just like we saw in the last problem. But now I'm going to fill in the partial products. 600 plus 540. And I'll add them together. Sixty times nineteen is one thousand one hundred forty. Let's show one more example. The directions say to visualize the area model and solve the expressions numerically. 
So I'm not drawing the area model, I'm just visualizing it. So I'm doing it in my head. But I am solving the expressions numerically, so that's what I have to do, is write out an equation. So I'm going to set up my, my problem 20 times 88. And I'm going to solve it by multiplying 20 by each value. So first, I'm going to do 20 times the ones place. 20 times 8. And I can cover up the 0 and say 2 times 8 is 16. And add the 0 back onto my answer for 160. Then I'll do the tens place. 20 times 80. It's very important that we remember we're multiplying values and not digits. So it's not 20 times 8 again, but instead 20 times 80. But I can still use the same trick. I can do um, cover up two zeros in my head and do 2 times 8 again is 16. But this time I need to add two zeros. And just like before, we will add our partial products together to show that 20 times 88 equals 1,760.